some sad news for you all this week. The D850 is broken. <sighs> I've only got myself to blame for this one. Now I bought this camera back at the end of October last year and really my motivation for buying this particularly expensive camera was that it was going to be a bit of a, a long-term investment. I'd get five, six, seven, maybe even eight years out of this camera. But things kind of went wrong from day one. Um, in all the excitement of getting my hands on this beautiful camera, um, I headed out to some nearby locations, one of which was a Glen called Balaglass Glen. And I went there to shoot some long exposure shots of the river running down through the sort of autumnal forests. Now, one particular shot, I went in to capture the river running underneath the nearby railway tracks through a tunnel. And in all the excitement, I didn't lock off the tripod head. So the camera kind of fell um, on some nice hard rocks below. And um, literally my heart skipped a beat when that happened. I was horrified. I've never done anything like that in 10 years of doing landscape photography. But yeah, day one of getting this beautiful camera, I do that, absolutely ridiculous. Now, initially I didn't think I'd actually done any damage and I thought, wow, I have really escaped this one. However, on getting home, I realized that I'd cracked the actual eyepiece that goes around the viewfinder of the camera. Now, the crack wasn't that significant, so I didn't think too much of it. I was disappointed, but the camera still actually worked. Um, those of you that are eagle-eyed may have noticed on previous videos I've done, there's tape round my eyepiece on the back of my D850. Um, this was to cover up the, um, the crack there and make sure nothing got in. But the problem is, over the last few weeks of using the camera, steadily, that crack in the eyepiece has been growing bigger and bigger. It's getting longer and it's starting to get wider. And it's got to the point where I believe that the actual weather sealing of the body, which is a big component of these high-end DSLRs, I think it's been compromised. Now, this, this is a big deal breaker for me. When I've invested so much in this camera, I cannot have the weather sealing compromised on that camera. So, I've decided to send the camera back to Nikon and I did this a few weeks ago. Now, when I sent it back to Nikon, they gave me an estimate of anywhere between two to 10 weeks before I get the camera back. Now, that's quite devastating. That's, that's nearly three months with that camera, which is, is far too long. Um, so I've taken steps to put that right. Now, um, for, for quite some time, I've wanted um, a second uh, camera body. Um, for a long time, I owned the RX100, um, the Sony RX100, and it was a beautiful compact camera. But um, when I was in Namibia a few years ago, um, I kind of dropped it in the sand and its um, lens mechanism, well, kind of went to heaven and the camera went to heaven itself. So ever since then, I haven't actually had a second um, camera body, but it's been high on my list of things to get. And now that the D850 is broken, I think this is a perfect excuse to get the secondary compact camera that I've been looking for. So the camera that I've gone for is quite a surprising choice, actually. I am Nikon through and through. Um, I've shot Nikon for pretty much the entirety of my landscape photography career but I've gone for a Canon which is a bit left field I admit but there's some rationale for that um, the particular model I've gone for has been getting rave reviews um, particularly for its video abilities and I think this is something which is uh, being become quite obvious in, in recent years that Canon have really taken a lead over Nikon when it comes to video capabilities. And now that I'm starting to do more and more of these blogs, I, I felt that whatever I buy as a secondary camera needs to excel in this area. So the particular body I've gone for is the um, 200D, um, which so far, is working out pretty well. I'm I'm pretty impressed. I haven't used it very much. Um, it's actually fi filming me right now, but um, 
I've come down to um, a local area that I know very well, the Ayres National Reserve on the Isle of Man here. And today I am going to actually put the Canon 200D properly through its paces. I'm going to try out its videoing functionalities. I'm going to try and take some shots, see what I can do with it. Um, but I'm going to cover that on next week's video um, in full. So um, tune back in next week where I will give the rundown in full on the 200D. Um, in the meantime, I'm keeping literally everything crossed that I managed to get my beautiful D850 back because 10 weeks sounds painfully, painfully long. Um, so yeah, please keep your fingers crossed for me as well. Um, until next week, please subscribe to my channel uh, and I will see you next week for part two of this vlog. Goodbye.